Wake of some Keloland schools closing to clean for the coronavirus, the Del Rapids School District is staying ahead by staying online. And Keloland's Max Hofer is here to explain. Good morning, Max. Well, good morning, Sophie. Now, for the past couple of years, the Del Rapids School District has been using Google Classroom to assist with online classes. And now they're looking to forward their use of the technology in case students are kept from school for any reason. We live in an area that floods. We live in an area that has other natural disasters. Del Rapids didn't have an easy time during last year's spring flood. That, combined with harsh winter, left a lot of students out of the loop. For last year, we had missed a lot of school days. With natural disasters and in preparation for a possible case of coronavirus causing students to miss days in school, the Del Rapids School District is finding a way to stay one step ahead. The preparation to close school and possibly have to figure out a way to educate kids elsewhere is it's always in the back of our mind. This year, the district is getting teachers familiar with e-learning. So this would be a way for us to allow to get content and some teaching out to the students if we're going to miss a number of days. Teachers like Dustin Steckler are being taught how to shape their lectures to an online format. There would be little tweaks where now I can't just answer questions directly. Um, so maybe scripting lessons a little bit differently or finding maybe less total problems to go through, but more variety of what they might look like. But this initiative isn't just in case of major emergencies. It's also for students that miss class due to extracurriculars. If they could watch the lecture um, at home on their computer, if they go into Google, their, their Google Classroom and pull up the lecture that they missed because they went to a track meet, um, that's some powerful, um, you know, just best practice. If we want to flip a classroom where I can assign them to watch a video overnight and then they come back the next day with some, some knowledge on the subject and we can just jump in and get to work. This new method isn't meant to take away from what students can jot down in class, but work in tandem to give them more opportunities to learn. It's not just about missing the time, it's making sure we find ways to um, supplement what kids are doing also. Now, they say that it's a little too early to implement e-learning into the classes this school year, but they're hoping to do a strong push by the 2021 school year. And we'll be